All right, so the news is that Lovable Cloud and AI have launched. So we have the docs here all about how they are working. So basically, the cloud is going to replace Superbase with the database. So yeah, you can store any information you might want, images, all that stuff, and also do login and all that and storage. Yes, so storage buckets, that's kind of a difficult part of using Superbase trying to organize all your, your images and also be interesting to see that and also to run the edge functions to actually do stuff in your apps. So it's also got the AI as well. So they're going to actually build this in so you don't have to get your, use your own API keys. You see here, no API keys. I'm always a little bit worried about this, that they might be charging more on top. So we'll talk a little bit about pricing in a minute now, but you get $1 free uh, AI usage per month. Okay, so you can test this out if it's good for you. The default model is Gemini, not the Pro one. Uh, Gemini Flash is the default. Okay, so it's the, it's the Nano Banana one. Well, actually, that's a, a slightly different as the Flash image. But it's a decent uh, model that we can use to do basic things. Okay, so I'm going to test out all these features so we can see exactly how they work step by step. So I'm going to just build an email assistant here. Uh, Flowrite was a Chrome extension tool. I don't know if they're still going or not, but they would basically respond to your emails. A lot of people are using AI for writing, so I think this could be a helpful tool. So let's see how we get on with this um, tool and we'll just kind of go through step by step the changes that we can see now in Lovable. So you can see here I have now enabled cloud is, you know, so they're as actually asking me if I want to allow, allow my cloud so that I can add my LLM to do the writing for me and to store the information here of my little uh, AI email assistant. So I don't know about this one yet. Let's go for it. allow this is fine. Okay, so I did get prompted to upgrade my plan, which is fine. I was going to see if this, if I can do this for free. Uh, and okay, it built all my features. It did take a bit of time, I have to say, but uh, yeah, I mean, if this does all this without me having to do anything, this would be very impressive indeed. So it says that I can one click copy and do everything. Uh, so let's test it out here. Hello, Anton, founder of Lovable, please sponsor the Sun Welcome Live Media. Let's, I don't actually do this, but <laughs> maybe I should have actually reached out to people and see if it works. Come on, come on. Okay, we did get something. Uh, okay, my name is Connor and I'm a creator on yeah, Kenny. Okay. That looks pretty nice. Uh, that is pretty impressive, I have to say, considering I just gave my prompt and then uh, just enable the AI cloud, which I'm sure hopefully this the next time, uh, this is the first time using it. So maybe uh, I don't have to do that. I can copy. So pretty interesting that I can do this. Let's see the database now. Where is it? It's in my cloud here. So yeah, we're looking a little bit like uh, base 44 here. I like this uh, system here. So let's see the database. Okay, we don't have any tables, so let's try and work that out. I don't have many credits left. Let's see if I can do it. Can you store my emails in the database? Probably should have said generated emails, but let's see if it knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so I got my daily limit. Yeah, I mean, there's not really too many daily limits anymore, especially when doing things like this. But okay, let's upgrade for this uh, video to actually complete it. So one thing I do like is that they have this allow here. So they go off and kind of do the idea of what it is that we should do. And then, you know, you can improve it or not, or allow the database or not, depends on what you want to do, if it's doing the right thing. I, I really like that. So it's actually done my database now since the table uses role level security. I need to add authentication so users can securely save. Okay, that's great. Okay, interesting now, it added the auth. Yeah, I suppose like that's something to think about there because, you know, I didn't really want the auth. This was just for me. So, I mean, it's good to test that for this video, but now we have an error. So let's try and fix that. Hopefully, I think nowadays the apps are really going to, you know, go back and forth. You know, if you see like Replit, for example, it takes screenshots of the app, um, what's happening, and then goes to tries to fix it. Emergent is another one that does that really well. So, I mean, this is great that AI was going to fix my app uh, without me having to do anything. I'm not complaining about that, but I think there are other tools that are using this in a great way that kind of errors. So that's something to think about. Okay, so while that's fixing, let's uh, think a little bit more about the price and actually why, if this is good or bad for you, possibly. So for me, I really like that it, all of this is built in. I hated going into Superbase there's so much to learn. I mean, about these edge functions and the storage and how to match it all up and map it all out. It was quite a pain, a lot of work. So I really like this. The lovable AI, I'm a little bit uh, worried about the pricing, but I mean, it does make things simple. So that is lovable's mission. So I really I like they're going for the mission, making the last piece of software. So yeah, I mean, 
this is great, but let's have a look at the pricing. So you can only add funds if you have on a paid plan. So if you don't want to use the AI tools, the built-in ones, then you're going to have to add for you have a paid plan. Okay, that's kind of definitely going to happen. Okay, so the pricing is going to get a bit more confusing, I think, is that it was we've our clown cost, our subscription, then we've our cloud and our AI cost. So yeah, this is getting a bit more confusing. So they do have a uh, different complete controls. So you have like zero charges, like you just stay on the free allowance. Seems like the free allowance is just $1 a month of free, $25 of cloud usage and $1 a month of free AI usage. So I think that's actually quite a lot of, of free cloud usage. $1 a month doesn't sound like a lot, but seems, let's find out how much that actually is. Okay, so for our email tool, for example, for $1, they get uh, output cost to generate email. So the input, the prompt request, go into the API and then coming back is the 40 cent per 1 million tokens. So it seems like it's quite good. I think for $1 output only, we get 6,000, let's say 300 words. Yeah, okay. Plenty of plenty of growth for one top. That's pretty insane. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's fine. I think that should be fair enough. And $25 of cloud compute with Superbase is, because Superbase is obviously coming in the background here. They've made a, a deal with Superbase. So that could be quite a lot, really. And here they have some good examples actually here. 10,000 visits, 500 purchases. So it's a decent, um, decent shop, right? Decent e-com store for what you would pay before is now 40 and then AI costs will be uh, lower. And then so you've got the subscription plus $49. Okay, so I hope that makes it clear. It is a little bit uh, difficult to understand all these pricings, but yeah, I mean, that's going to be the, just let's get there. I mean, if you've got an e-com st store with 500 purchases, you're not really going to care about $49 of pink. All right, so we did get authentication. Got a couple of errors. Restored. Start again. That's fine. That's the way I do it. Okay, let's try another email and see if it stores in our database to see how that works. As I tell you to please give me AI clipping pillows. Here, got my email. Often this comes in Markdown. Don't really want that, obviously. But um, yeah, I mean, you can save it now or copy it. So let's try saving it. And my email has been saved to my collection. Let's go to the cloud to see it in my database. Generate emails. Okay, and I have my... Email, this is like what Superbase looks like, but I have it all here, so I don't have to go into Superbase. The ID and my user ID of my account and my original note. Okay, so pretty cool. Oh, you can create templates too. Nice. So you can now have your users, right? So you can see that's me. I'm a user. Storage. Okay, let's add a picture of me into the storage. Try it here, can I? No. Okay, add this to my storage. Okay, so now I created a bucket with my image. Or maybe it didn't. Where is my image? Okay, and I got my image uh, to add to the storage bucket in the images. Okay, so then you can just call that and use that whenever you want. The other one is the edge functions, right? So we actually have one done. So this is basically the code to add to make the function, right? And then to actually go to Superbase and to create the email, to generate the email, right? And the secrets is just where you need to save your API key. So you'll have like openai underscore API underscore key. It'll probably show you here and give you a prompt. Then you add your platform key into the little box there. Makes it super easy for adding AI or any other API that you might need to add to your app. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. If you like the new updates, please tell me about them. What's your favorite tool? Things are changing fast and many of the tools are adding this kind of back end to them now to make them easier to use, uh, which I think is a great thing. I spent a lot of time trying to figure lots of stuff out in Superbase. Now I don't need to do that anymore. Okay, so thanks for watching.